very attentive with his calls um, and he's had lots of energy and full of beans. Full of beans? I'm not sure what that means. I think I know what it means, but... It's just the... I think it's a compliment, yeah. anyway. Yeah, compliment, right. And, yeah, go ahead. Uh, I guess, you know, I've been doing... I mean, I've been very happy that you've been calling, Greg, and um, I've had various feelings, but I think that that's just, I don't know, it feels like an, an attack when my organs go out, but um, right now I don't have any feeling like that. It, it just, yeah, that, that's unclear. Yes, and um, So I don't know, why don't you take a turn while I'm thinking of it. Okay. Um, I think Fran and I have settled down um, to um, not making it a, about what's wrong right away, but just appreciating and enjoying being with each other okay. on the phone. I call Franny when I've got some time when I really don't have to do anything. Oh, it's when I'm driving and I'm excited about something. Why do I sit there alone and excited about it? I might as well share with Franny, even if it's something that's kind of, uh, you know, I think she appreciates that. She has said so, but I don't think she, you know, in the past at least, Franny was not very excited about it. If I, I don't know, that's some sort of performance related. Uh, activity. Uh, I'm not sure. Could you explain that a little bit? I was wondering if you, you know, in, you know what do you mean? I mean, I don't know. Um, I mean, I don't think you were at, 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 yeah. Maybe you open a can of worms here. Um, I didn't think you approved really of me. Um, taking my acting classes or going out to the theater much. Well, I thought that we cleared that up. Do you approve, Franny, can you say if you approve Greg doing those activities? I approve of your acting class and I approve of your going to the theater as long as you're not doing it with someone else or, you know, having, using it as a vehicle or something for doing that. No. So can you accept oh. that? Sure. I see how it makes you happy and I, but, you know, I do want you to be doing the things that you need to do for yourself. And it's funny because I was going to suggest we talk about, like, what, you know, we... Um, think is good, like how do we feel when people do things that are good for you, you know, us. so like in other words what I mean is if you're taking care, like when you're taking care of yourself and not just doing all that stuff to escape, I feel good about it, if, you know, if it's, if it's enjoyable, I'm not going to feel good about it if you don't get the things done that you're supposed to get done. Right. <laughs> you know, because that is in the way of, you know, proceeding. I mean, of course, there is a distance. So it's impossible to expect Greg not to go out or you not to go out, you know? No, I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't mind that. I, that's, you know, that's not... No, that was, I, I mean, actually, this is a good thing, because I called Franny, even though I think she, I, I, you know, my, even so, my thought is that she may not, I know you cleared that up, you said that, it's still the okay. idea that, that it's not your world of performance on stage or whatever, 
but still that is something I want to share with you. Well, I cited about something, so I thought that was a good thing that I was calling you, regardless of what I might have thought in the past. Understood? Did I say it right? What did you think of that, the signing? Were you glad that we called to talk about that? I'm glad, I'm glad, yes. I'm yeah, glad. Okay. I, I would like you to call and, you know, I mean, I would also, in addition to that, like you to call and, you know, keep proceeding yeah. to say other things, not just about what you saw at the theater, you know. Right. <clears throat> well, the main thing is that, I, first of all, I call and then we can talk about other things. Right. Yeah. Sure. You can share. Right? You probably see me sharing. Right. Even if you are not together in, in the same room. Because that's a, a bit of a problem, I think. Not only with you two, but with, uh, with couples that who live uh, far away from each other. Well, I mean, okay? the, the only other thing that, like, I would say that I object to when you do call me is it's kind of the same thing I've said this many times is that uh, when you when you call um, for well let's see how can, when you call to you know tell me about the things like where you're going you know in the car or you're going shopping or anything like that you kind of rarely ask me about you. About me, it's like all like all that you're excited about, and you're talking about it, and oh, who said this, and what actor did this, and everything like that. And you know, when I do try start talking, you you talk through what I'm saying, like you were doing it last night. I was telling you something, and you just were talking through me about the putting the battery in the in the uh, smoke alarm, which yeah. by the way, you should have had the building do, instead of you doing it, but... I don't want to go into that. Anyway, because that's their smoke alarm. But my, my point is, is that I thought that was kind of rude. Yeah. You're rude. Like, you just, it's like you're so focused on what you're doing or whatever that you can't even, like, keep quiet so that the person has the at least the illusion that you're listening to them, even if you're not. Or you probably were listening to me, but you can't be talking and listening, you know, to somebody at the same time. So I find that anyway. You get the picture. Yeah. Okay, so uh, Tony, in your opinion, God is not a good listener. Well, he can be. Mm -hmm. But he has not been at times. Okay, good. Just as you need to remove or install something to be a good listener. Sure, yes. Okay, do you need to remove? Or maybe to install? I'm listening. <laughs> what? How about... Oh, that's that's I'm fine. I'm all listening. I have to install that I'm really listening to somebody and, you know, and then I'm with them. Because when I'm with somebody, you have to be with the person. You can't be just bouncing off of them. It's something you should install communication. Well, that's good. I was saying listening, which is part of communication. Um, communication, yes, communication. I suppose that's something you install. I get yes, you can install that. So, um,
So I, I yeah. So I've installed communication. And I think something one of my symptoms symptom or just me yes. is that I mean I'm not really interested in other people very much. That shows Okay. Yes. So Seth, if you pursue them, it's a symptom. Um, yeah, it's a, it's a symptom. It's a it's a characteristic of my life that I'm in my own world. Okay. Um. I seem to move more. Well, that, uh, again, I'm in my own world, but um, there's something else. This we should go to the hub. Sure, we go to the hub. Okay, let's. Get there. I'm on the hub. Okay. Now, see, there's, there's. Now, what is your feeling there? Like, you were just the way that you said that and everything. What is the feeling that you have? Um. Right there. Um. Um, I, um, uh, that I had my ideas, or I was, I was, I was doing it my way, but I, uh, it's like, okay, I could, I can, I suppose it's like, I have, I see it as armor or as uh, protection in the way I am. This is the way I am, and I do things this way, including just how I think about things. That it is true. It is, the, it is true that it is the, the way you are. I wasn't saying it's the way I am. I'm just saying I have this. I mean, I could test that. It's, it's what I'm doing. Is it the way I am ultimately? I don't know what what you're asking there. To well, me. let me let me just don't, let me just say that in order to have a relationship with you, there's a certain amount of this kind of stuff that I have accepted. Yeah, that's why, and I'm actually Wait. allowing you to see this because this is. But I have ex okay. I accept. Um. A great deal of this, but I have to say that it does not inspire confidence in you of your, you know, your your caring and uh, well. I know you, I know you love me, but it's like you you you're not giving anything to anybody, and you do this with a lot of people. You don't. It's not, it's just not like there and giving. It's like you're always focused on you, what is happening to you, how you look, what you're saying, what you're thinking about. That's what is very yeah. disturbing and eventually people just get tired of that. You know, like, I don't know if anybody's gotten tired that you know, but I mean, uh, you know, I know. Uh, Tony, do you mean that you feel or seem that you too self conscious? I'm uh, sorry, I couldn't hear what you said. Uh, I'll put it on here for a second. What did you say, Russell? If you think that or feel that the gravity is too self centered. Um. Self yes, that's what I'm saying, and it, and it, and it, like, it, it means that, like, his life is separate, like, 
everybody's mm. separate to a certain extent. We all have our own likes and dislikes and things that we're interested in and everything. But when Greg looks like that, it looks like he really is separate. And it's very, it's very disturbing. I don't know how else to put it. It's like, um, it's why he can go off and do this thing with all these, you know, people, like different people, is because he's only thinking, About okay, what, what do I want? What do I need? You know, like never, you know, and, and, um, I don't know, unless I don't know something, I don't think that that's been very successful for you either, you know, or you've just held Greg, back. Can you, can you tell? Can you tell? Can you try my baby? Uh, uh, it's trauma-based. Um, yeah. Okay, uh, can you accept the trauma? Um, Sure. Okay. Did it happen in this one life? when it began. you can still say what you did to yourself or did to somebody else. So, I mean, you may not know exactly what the circumstance is, but... Yeah. Um. Okay, so let's, let's see, what time is it um, more than um, 500 million years ago? Okay, no, more than a million years ago. Whatever I'm dealing with, it, no, it's not more than a million years ago. more than uh, 100,000 years ago, I guess, 20, so 120,000 years ago. 20,000 years ago, okay. 120,000 years ago. 100, okay. And, um, what were you? I get no. Hear me? 
I get no. Well, thanks for answering. That's that's what I pointed out before. When I'm asking a question, you give me your answer. It happens invariably. It's like me when you're sound talking and I answer, I still start talking. That is allow you. Yes, especially when I focus on something and Franny jumps okay. in and says, I get no, I get yes. Well, now you know how annoying it is when you try and finish all my senses for me. <laughs> That's what I just said. No, when, when you finish, try to finish my senses. That's what I just said. I just said, I know it's exactly what I do to oh, you. Oh, oh, oh. You aren't listening, I guess. I guess I just mis oh, I was listening, but I just misunderstood, I guess. You didn't hear me because you were thinking about something. Okay, so, 120,000 years ago, Well, can we just can we just interrupt this for one, one second? Now, does the the feeling that you have right now is that part of what you're trying to clear in the trauma, or is that just happening now? Like the the annoyance with me, or whatever it is that you know, like I know what you're saying. I know what you're saying, and um, I know what you're asking. So it's. Well, it's what I have right now, so it's something to be cleared. It's like, I... To me, yes, it's something. Here's, here's what I'm getting. My behavior is that when I pay attention to someone else, it detracts from what I'm doing. Okay. 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 I just got to say, just to understand a little bit, I was, I didn't go to class this morning. I went swimming and in the hot tub and in the steam room, and I'm kind of, bleh, you know, washed out, kind of low energy right now. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. um, I, um, so usually when I'm tired, I want to rest. Now, I didn't intend to do it, I didn't really do it that much, so it wasn't like, I didn't think I was overdoing it. Um, when, when, uh, Franny did what she did a few minutes ago, yeah. like talking to you, yeah. uh, did you get tired? Um, yeah, I got more tired, okay. it was just something I had to deal with, I was focusing on myself and then I had to, you know, it's like, yeah. with somebody else. Your focus was, I had to put it attention. and that that tired you. Right. Okay, I'd like to go back to the trauma, okay? Alright. Um, so what what did you do to yourself to traumatize yourself? Can you can you get the picture of the situation you were in? Yeah, that's the thing to go for. So uh, let's see about that time. I'm saying hundred twenty thousand years ago. And um basically you just have to channel. Was I male? Or was I what you Frank was saying I wasn't human? Was I a human being? Was an animal? I don't know. An entity? Well, I'm some sort of entity. 
Mm, okay. It's, it doesn't stand to our normal reasoning, but it doesn't really matter because it is what it is. Okay, what happened? What did, what did you do to yourself? Were you occupied in something? Were you doing something? Maybe you wanted to get a result. And you you were doing something to get your result. Is that possible? I, I don't know. I mean anything's possible. Yes. Just yeah. yes, 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 yes. As I stop this phone, um, was I doing something in, after some results? Um, I don't know. I'm not. I'm thinking about. It's more like how I am now. You're not getting anything? I'm, I'm getting about how I am now, just, um, just, more like I'm swimming in space right now, trying to answer questions. Maybe I'm using the wrong body, it's just, just test. What yes, test the wrong body. Something trying to get some, so, yes. Brad, Brad, listen to me. Keep yourself to your ears in the wrong body to do this. Uh, not now, because I'm testing, and so I just start testing, so no. Okay, okay, face the right button. Okay, uh, test uh, if you were interrupted by something or someone. So. Let's go back then. You were an entity. You were doing something. Uh, yeah. Were you interrupted? Yes, I'm interrupted by something. Something, okay, not someone, something. Yeah, um, now, um, whether it was a good thing or a bad thing, I don't know. Okay, um, did the, the interruption keep you from getting your thoughts? Um, No. No. Did it make it difficult? More difficult? It's just, I don't know. See, I, I feel I'm alone when I'm that way. And it's not necessarily a bad thing when someone, when someone interrupts me. It's just different. It's just that I'm not being alone and getting the result. It's that, um, it changes the nature of my relationship to myself. That mm -hmm. I become selfless. I become selfless. So it just interrupts my interrupts my experience. Uh -huh, okay. Is this what happens when? Uh, when trying to interrupt you, like uh, saying, oh, I said yes, I said no? Yes. Okay. <coughs> Test if you remove the fountain. You don't look very happy. This is my 
impression looking at, looking at you. Yes, but I, I feel good getting a guess, but I, I'm testing rather than thinking about it. See, when I'm thinking, often I'm not very happy. Uh -huh. You know, you know what I mean? Thinking. Uh, <clears throat> so, um, I, I, um, don't, don't think about what happened. Just you know, are popping to your mind, if anything, and test. Uh, Yes or no? You don't, don't need to think. You need to channel. If nothing comes to your mind, it's not the end of the world. We're doing some other, we do it some other time. Um. Do you... Yeah. Do you need to express something more to me about how annoyed you are, or is there something that you're holding back that's making you tired? Um, I think, uh, yeah, I'm tired when I'm not expressing the deeper things. You know, I thought of calling you in the morning. The best time for me is in the morning lying in bed like we used to do. Uh huh thing is that you are probably, you're probably awake as being an hour later than I am, and it might be a better time for you. If I will wake up any time, and I'll be wide awake if you call me, so you ne you never have to worry about that. Like, I'm just... I didn't think so. Okay, I right. wanted to say it. I wanted to, you know, just often in the morning, I'll wake up, I'm just in a lighter sleep, and I am kind of sleepy, but I'm thinking many things and going through things. I just have to relax. Sometimes I'll have to turn on a radio for music or something. Too. To help. It's like I'm wandering. Sometimes it's very productive. So it's usually productive mm -hmm. and creative. So that's a good time to to talk rather than when I'm all wound up in the day and it's more like I'm involved and busy with things. Mm -hmm. Like traffic and putting a smoke detector in it. Like yeah. I've got things on my mind. I've got a list of little things to do and right. things to do. Uh, is it a pleasure for you to call me? Is it a what? Huh? A pleasure. Pleasure. Uh, it's um, a pleasure when we talk. Um, Do you feel calling her like a beauty? Um, yes, but not like a duty duty. Uh -huh. <laughs> it's not something that's displeasurable. It's like, oh, I, uh, I'm going to call Franny, make a point of calling Franny. So when I have some time, I said, oh, I can call Franny. Especially when I'm, you know, I always have things to do. So that's what I call when I'm driving because there's nothing else to do but sit in the car. Mm -hmm. And so it's an easy time to talk, although it's not quite the same as me, not having my attention fully on you. Um... I would like to have to talk about things that come up in a relationship rather than just making up, finding, I mean, you can find things. That's the problem about where, unless we're, we're not living in the same place and it's not current mm -hmm. in the moment mm -hmm. with each other. Mm -hmm. So the idea is to make it current in the moment, calling whenever, yes. at any time, so that it's real. And not just, oh, how are you? I'm fine. What did you do? Okay, I'm done. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna smoke a lot of battery. Yes, I understand and, that. You know, cooking my dinner or whatever. Which is okay. Yeah. Dinner together. It's 
Is it something like a routine? Something like a routine. I get up, I wash my teeth, I call friendly, I have breakfast. Is it something like that? Don't think about it. No, yeah. not. I don't. I don't think that way. Okay. I mean, I it, it can be. I can think that way. I don't have any rule about that. Yes. Okay. I mean, that's not. It's not really. I mean, it might be good, but it's not really good. Yeah, I have it as a routine call for anything now and then when I have a chance. Okay, Freddie, what do you have to say? Um, well, I'm, I, I'm having this, well, actually, this is a good thing that you are doing, um, you know, I'd, I'd like you to do it, you know, like the thing that you're talking about. I'm having a, a feeling like when you go through this, now this is not necessarily anything to do with you, but when I hear stuff like this, I hear it as an accusation that I'm doing something wrong, whereas I'm not doing anything. I mean, I, you know, if you want to call me in the morning, then that's up to you to call me in the morning, but somehow I guess I just take it as a criticism somehow that I didn't do something right, you know, like, I'm not available. Hey, what? How would you feel if Greg didn't call you every day, but uh, only when he really wants to talk to you? Well, you know, I, I want you to call when you really want to, but I have a feeling that you'd never call me. <laughs> okay, Greg, do you confirm? Do I concur that Franny has a confirm. feeling? Confirm. Confirm. That you would never call Franny. If you, if, you, if you could call Franny only when you feel like it. I don't confirm that. I don't agree with it. Franny has a feeling. Okay. And she's afraid of that. It's a symptom of Franny. Franny's okay. symptom is that, oh, she has another symptom she just said earlier, before that, which is that it was her fault about something. She's getting that it's her fault. You just don't let those things go by, you know. She's got all kinds of ideas and feelings and thoughts and stuff that goes on with her. Now, I may have things also that may key them in her, or maybe they don't. Well, wait, wait, okay, let's, let's just go, let's go. Hello, hello. When, I'm, when I think people are criticizing me, that's, you have a similar thing, like I'm finding fault in you. So, like when you ask me questions, I don't think that so much anymore, really, that, you know, you're criticizing me. I just have to go with, I'm, uh, it's, I don't know, something, we're not hitting my issue with this. I mean, maybe. Well, no, you know, we're talking. Stuff, we're I'm, talking I'm not, about my issue right now, so I don't know why all of a sudden we're not. Well, I don't know. I don't know what you're but trying to say. She asked you about your. She asked you about you, and you start talking. Yeah. Well, so yeah. So I. Okay. So. So that's why. That's why I mentioned that because she was saying, "Well, how about you, Franny? How How are you?" Not so, but so we're never not. We're talking about my issue. I'm not even sure what my issue is other than, I mean, I started with the issue of, like, not caring. I will put a little look on the list there. It's like not caring, but I think it's like, yeah, I, I, I mean, we asked if it was trauma-based, and yes, it's trauma-based, and yes, it's no, it's not trauma-based, but so we got, yes, trauma-based, 120,000 years ago. It's in this lifetime currently. I don't know, it's it's more like right now, it's kind of hard to, I care about all this, but I don't know. You know I, care, I care about you guys more than 
most anyone else in the world. Um, uh, well, I'm a little lost. Can you talk to me in a trauma? Um, yes, I want to do a good job at this. I want to, you know, we're taping this, we're, uh, so, you know, I don't have any answers. I, I'm, I'm willing to, I want to be good. I want to find answers. I want to, you know, I want to produce. I want to, I want to be accepted. I want to be loved. I want to, I, um, I want to be right, you know, I want to do, do the right thing, and... Did you feel the difference now? Somewhat, yeah. Okay. Try what is that? Can you, can you describe it? My feeling now? Um, my state? What, what difference? What difference? Um, I felt that I was expressing something there that, that was not about the content of what you were asking me, but it was about, it's more in terms of what Franny said, was there something else I had to express? And I said, mm -hmm. yes, there's something I had to express previously, and, um, but it was not in terms of what we were asking. In terms of my just being in a relationship and, and, being on this call or doing anything that this is running me in my life. I want to be, do things right. Now that's something that's been definitely traumatic. I mean, I'm for being a, a, a kid and having to, just to be right and try so hard to be right. Okay. Not get the okay. answer, but be right. Okay. What happens if you are wrong? Do you get scared of the idea of being wrong? I don't know if scared is the word. I don't really get scared, but I guess maybe scared I'll try that on. Um, Insecure? I just like, yeah, I feel terrible. Okay. So then, do you have behaviors that you do? Because <clears throat> it just seems like when you want to be right, like you, you just you'll you'll just argue until you just or you'll be. That's the question. You're you're telling me symptoms, and you you asked a question. So you, I. I don't know anymore, Greg. You decide, because I can't seem to be able to say anything that you don't, like, slam me back about. So I don't know. Why don't you say what you well, want? Well, your first question was, do I have any behavior? Okay. I mean, you're doing one now. Yes, I'm doing one now. I'm at the way I'm, your, I'm responding to your questions. I'm like, making it about you asking me the wrong way or something like that. It's like, I find fault in, in others that it's, it's, I don't know. I feel like I'm helpless. That I'm in a, a state of helpless and I need um, I just feel lost and um, um, and uh, alone, and, but not not powerful. You know, it's like I'm in, in Greg, can you see me? what's happening right now? is blocking your function. By the way, okay. I, I have an 
idea where this behavior, like, I think that you learn this behavior from your father, which is to be right and to take do whatever it takes, be as mean and horrible and nasty as it takes to be right in the conversation. And I do not like it. Uh, well, I get to be right about myself. Okay. One thing I to try. Just by saying that. I agree with you. It's like that, yeah. Can you, uh, Greg, can you go to the list of functions and test uh, which functions are blocked? Okay. Empowerment, gratitude, inquisitiveness. Just looking at the basic communication, contact with reality. They're blocked. Um, interest, pleasure. You're testing for all of those that they're all blocked. They're all affected. Okay. Um, just put them back in now, without going on and testing for more of them. And when you get a signal that you've done that, let us know. Yep. Do you feel a deep time? Yeah. I just, yes. Okay. What are, what are you more able to do now that you couldn't do before? Listen to it without reaction. Okay. Really react. Good. Listening to you and being with you rather than my own reaction. Okay. It's on my reaction that I look for. The thing was, I was, what's missing was I was focusing on my reaction. Okay. Therefore, the bad feeling. Can you listen to fun without reacting? Yes. Are you less tired okay. now? Uh, yeah. Okay. Good. Franny, do you feel okay. any different? Well, I feel, I feel better than I did a few minutes ago. I mean, I feel, before I was getting like really um, annoyed and up, like uptight, you know, like now I feel much more relaxed. I feel like my breathing is back to something more normal. Yeah, Freddie, please, will you check if any of your functions are blocked? Uh, my functions are blocked? No. No, okay. I thought so, but just to be sure. Okay. Okay. Do you have uh, anything you want to say, Greg? I, I want to say, Greg, one thing. Okay. Greg, from uh, the deep, from the bottom of my heart, I love you. Please remember that. Okay? I love you when you are right, and I love you when you are wrong. I love you unconditionally. Don't forget that. When I love, I love. Okay? Thank you. Yes. Thank you. Pleasure is the truth. <laughs> Frank? Anything you want to say, Greg? Um. Well, yes, I have to put it into words. Let's see. Um, well, I kind of, I mean, when I said what I did about the behavior that I don't like, I felt a lot better mm -hmm. about myself because I never could understand why you were doing all that and why it was so important for you to be right all the time. Um, mm -hmm. I mean, 
it's possible you were right <laughs> and that I was just wrong about a lot of things but when you argued about it instead of like looking at me and asking me if you know like in other words I just think that you just were reacting to me all the time and shutting me out somehow Mm -hmm. So then I probably, I think I just start saying ridiculous things or I just, I start getting on my, you know, little soapbox and arguing back because I don't, I don't know how else to, you know, unless, uh, and one of the things is I just stop talking to you and then you finally shut the fuck up, excuse me, my language, but you just... We well, found in your fine, fine. What? We you are French. Oh, my French, yeah. That's very, yeah. I think you're Well, very certainly good. ain't Italian, that's <laughs> But, um, and so, like, you know, I was thinking about this the other day, is that basically, if you're not interested in me, and you're, you know, don't want to talk to me, or you get angry every time you talk to me, like, yeah, I don't, what? I don't want to talk to you. I mean, it's, you know, I mean, I... I okay, let me, let me jump in here. Okay. Um, what you were just doing, Fanny, you were working yourself back into it. Oh, dear. Fred, Ross, did you notice that, that she was working herself back into it? Yes. Yeah. Stop her when she does that. Okay. Just stop her. Now, a few things I've noticed. One thing was that for a lot of the session, you weren't actually doing immunics. Like you would ask Greg a question like, why are you tired? And he would tell you what he thought. Like, I'm tired because I'm not expressing myself. Am I, am I accurately depicting what happened here? Um, I think it's quite that now. I don't know. Okay. Were you asked why you were tired? No, I don't remember it being asked yes, why. Yes, he tired. was. He was. Well, you were. Franny says you were. Well, I, I don't know if we said why, but we. You know. I looked why. I never heard why, but I remember. But. Um, no, you would add it was being tired a symptom. That was one thing I was asked, and and what was it a symptom of? I guess. Uh, How did you get to the not expressing yourself thing? Was that connected uh, to well, being tired? Well, I was, ex uh, was accessing information about the trauma. Franny asked, "Is there something else that you have to express?" Something like that, which. Okay. Because well, I, all I of these things reading a symptom in me there. should be tested. Each thing should be tested. Like if if you say, "Is there something else you need to express?" <laughs> it should be tested. Yeah. Also, when you rest your chin on your finger like that, yeah, that's a symptom. All right. So oh. you could take that symptom. Why don't we ask about it? Is it a symptom when Greg rests his chin on his finger? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. I recognize that, yeah. So now, you got all you need. Why don't you test through the skills right on the hub there, in front of you, right? You have the, you have the hub up in front of you? Well, I have to get it back to the hub, right? Go ahead. And test which skill and go into the lesson page and test which lesson. And this is how you do in Munich. Ross, remember the other day you were saying that it's too much for a newbie to test through the web college? Yes. Well, yes, I remember. You must be a newbie because you seem to have a little trouble with testing through the web college. She actually did want Greg to test through the 
You don't have to as go. A virgin, I, as a virgin being, I am glad that she uh, tested on the harbor. Okay, good. You, you actually do it with everything. Okay. You know, and then when you get to something, <clears throat> you just work it, and also he doesn't have to finish it in the session. You assign it. So this is one thing. Now, Greg, I assume that you're now on a lesson page and have tested a lesson, yes? I'm, I'm looking at the um, What's Your Life About Skill 11. And test, okay. down through the, test down through the lessons and see. Don't, don't think about it. Don't evaluate this, the uh, lessons. Just don't even look at them. Just see where your finger moves. We are trying to get so out of our heads here. Not, we don't want to think about it and dredge up answers and stuff. Because if you do that, you're doing talk therapy yeah. from the 1950s, and it doesn't work. Now, before we go on, I also want to say that obviously what you're doing d is working, since Franny was her lowest weight ever this morning, right, Bueno? Yeah. Yes, but is that because of things I've been doing, or things that can, and obviously talking about my relationship and being happy about it is contributing to that. Test, is it? Yes. And is it because of things I've been doing? Yes. <clears throat> Did you have some other idea that it might be because of things somebody else was doing? No. Okay. But you were, I guess, I thought you were implying that it was just because of the way I've been with Greg, and I, and I want to, no. I think that that started before I was that way with Greg, so. No. I was Okay. Right, have you found the scale? I'm, I'm looking, I'm testing on the lesson, life orientation, questions to ask. It's on the lesson page for what's your life about, skill 11. Okay, read out one of the yeah. questions and test it. Is my life orientation basically positive or negative? Okay, so test both of those. Well, that's one question. No, it's positive test or negative test. Test, is it positive? Positive or negative, so... Okay, test, is it positive? positive. I'm giving you positive. an instruction. Test, is it Basically positive? Basically positive. Okay. Is it, test, is it negative? Somewhat. Sometimes. So you're getting a little test on that, too, okay. So that means you're either moving towards or moving away from things. So I can see it. But there's I'm a lot. I'm moving. I move away from people when I when there's again like something I'm trying to get or something I'm trying to have happen or trying to be or trying to be um, or to you know experience. Okay. Because then I'm, I'm, I just kind of, I'm making things negative. I'm making things negative, saying it's not happening. It's not happening. Okay. I'm not what I want to be. Now, test. By the way, what time is this session supposed to end? Twelve minutes ago. Okay. Well, we started late because all the video and everything. Rebooting. Let's try to come early and start things early before the session. Get have it have it running at the session start time. How about that?
Can we do that, everybody? Yes. Yeah. Having the camera all set up so we're starting to read. Yeah. The re Actually, yeah. So. Let's agree to do that. Sure. Well, I had it all set up early until we had to reboot, and then that was because. I don't know what happened with the computer there. Well, yeah. I have to admit, Greg, you didn't hook up early. You hooked up after. We don't need 12. to get into all that. No, I'm kidding. I call it exactly yeah. at the right time. We don't. We don't need to get into all that. Call me as I was calling me exactly at eleven o'clock. Well, not by my clock on my phone. Your so. clock. Okay, I was looking at the computer clock, my clock. I didn't look at my phone. Never mind. Okay, Greg. Did you hear what's in your voice? Yes. Okay. Of course. What's in? Your, I'm, you know, I'm reacting to Franny too. What's in your voice? What's in your voice? Ranker. Okay. Test you, is, I, is, is that uh, is this, You guys did not have your computers on. Is this so with I Greg? Excuse me. This is a fucking session. I know. Is that one? Is this one of my symptoms? Yes, it's one of your symptoms. Okay. We're not testing about me. I know. I'm joking. Okay. Yes, I'm, we're not joking. Symptoms. Just what? test. Is it one of my symptoms? Yeah. Okay. Now, test you it. Could, and read one of my symptoms. You could have had the computer on. Did I? We had it on! Wait, okay, no, 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 no. Don't get sucked into this. I don't get sucked. You're getting, you're getting, All right. he's sucking, Greg is sucking you All in. All right, you're right, you're right. <clears throat> okay, back to you, Greg. All right. Um, so this is one of your symptoms. Did I choose to run this symptom? Right now, yes. So it was a choice? Yeah. Okay. Now, do you have any idea of what you were trying to do by making that choice? Uh, communicate to you guys that, uh, okay, that I'm, I'm being accused uh, fired like I got that you were accusing me and we were saying we can let's all agree that's true let's all agree to have this be ready when you were the one not having you know you could have said I agree let me say that I screwed up today and didn't have my computer on in time or didn't have the thing working properly so but let's all agree why did you choose to run your symptom um, does that felt hurt? Okay. Test, am I feeling hurt? Am I feeling hurt? Um, yes. Ross, test, does Greg feel hurt? I don't care. Franny, test, does Greg feel hurt? Yes. Okay. So, what you did when you felt hurt was instead of saying I feel hurt yeah. because I think that you're blaming me for today we yeah. weren't even we weren't talking about today we were talking about making an agreement to start setting up before the sessions that's all we were talking about we didn't say any nobody said anything about today but you by the way you're the guy who brought up today you know but Fine. Okay, um, don't get sucked in then. You're I the was. Said, you're uh, the one who said today was fucked up, and let's make an agreement. You still were talking about. Today. No, I didn't say today was fucked up. I never said it. You did too. You said I. I said what? Did we I say it? You said okay. Let's. I let's, don't know what anybody said. Anymore. Ross, did I say today was fucked up? You made the end on the phone. Did I? I did I say what? today was fucked up? <sighs> Ross. Okay. Okay, now, here, here we go. You chose to run the symptom instead of saying, I'm hurt because I think you're blaming me for today. Yeah. So instead of that, you did this whole song and dance. Yeah. And we're still in it. And it's an enormous waste of time. So now I'm telling you point blank. I don't know if this is a... Co constitutes blame. I don't feel as though I'm blaming you, but I am telling you that you've wasted our time by running this symptom. 
Yeah. And you probably knew you were doing, you were wasting time when you ran it. And you know what? Underneath this, I want you to test, everybody test this for yourselves, and we all will. Just test, do I value my time appropriately? About yourself, do you value your own time appropriately? Yes. Franny says she values. Greg, what about you? Yes. Okay. Well, then if you value your time, mm. you will know because you won't see yourself wasting it on stuff like yeah. what you were just doing. Um, do you feel any different? This is a general question I'm throwing out to everybody, by the way. Does anybody feel any different? Um. Yes, I have to. I I feel better, you know, and you know, with the consideration of that, I, you know, it's my time. My life is worth something here. Okay. So, take care of it. Okay, Franny, do you feel any different? I think I feel more perturbed than I did before. Oh, that's. How long is this session supposed to be? Is it it's supposed to be a uh, one hour one session? One hour, yeah. Do you feel like an hour is enough time for a for a dual session, or that you'd like to make it a longer session? Well, it's it's not adequate if one of us has to clear like a long trauma or so, or do something long. Rather, see. One thing that's nice about having a joint session is that there's a back and forth, mm -hmm. and it's good to clear traumas, but that is kind of an individual activity. So what we do is we spend a lot of time, it seems, like curing Greg's whatever he has going on, and haven't really worked on me very much during the session, but it's very yeah, difficult. Definitely. It's very difficult to do that because that takes time to go through the whole thing and you know it can take 15 minutes it, it can be shorter but it can it, well, it usually doesn't I'm not then maybe you I'm ought not to blaming you I'm maybe in a joint session you ought to think about take I know I suggested trauma and that may have been the wrong suggestion maybe you should test shorter things like do I have a trauma concerning this? And you work on it after the session, let's say. Well, that's that's what I was trying... Well, I, I mean, I'm not trying to make myself right, but when, you know, when Rissella asked him about a trauma, I thought it was good that she asked that. But then when he was in it, and he, and or, or she asked him to go to Hub, then all this stuff comes up. And I think that has to... It's the same thing. It's like he has this feeling, and he goes, okay, I'll go to the Hub. It's like... He's not saying, oh, yeah, we could go to the hub and, you know... Like, well, I'll tell you what, you can let him have his feeling and just go to the hub and see if it clears when he tests something on the hub and clears it. Yeah. Anyway. For example, in that lesson that you tested for, is there... Test down the lesson, see if there's another question for you to test. See... Uh, uh, Don't say it. Now, Ross, I want to ask you... Yeah. If you're doing a joint session, do you think the joint session should be longer than an hour? What do you think? Um, I think so. Maybe not every time. It depends on what happens in the session. Yes. But sometimes it could be one hour and a half, at least. I'll tell you what. Because one thing is that working with just one person, and uh, in my opinion, one hour is enough. You can do everything. But with the joint Session Why don't we try saying that joint sessions are an hour and 15 minutes? Let's try that, yes. And then we'll, okay. we'll see how that goes, because it is a good idea to end sessions on time. Okay. Yeah, absolutely. I agree on that, totally.
And also, I'm noticing that, Bono, do you have a way of testing through the hub for you? Yeah, I just go on my, uh, okay. my phone. No problem. Why don't you do that right now and see if there's a lesson for you. Because maybe we should take another five minutes and end at 1.30. How about that? Yeah, it's okay. For me, it's okay. Greg, did you test another question on that lesson? Um, but again, I, I, think, was, I, I think these I think these lessons have to be, see, if you're going to do a joint session, the lessons have to be about the okay. relationship, not just about what I need to work on in my life, you know. I mean, well, I, aren't you testing for a lesson about your relationship? I, I, I haven't done anything yet. So. Well, see, here's the thing. Any lesson in the web college can be about your relationship. It just yes. depends on it just depends on what you need. You know? So you might test for, for your relationship and get the lesson on particle indexes or on you know lower dimensional disabilities or something. I just don't feel very satisfied with this session. I'm sorry, but I'm sure it's the same thing. For example, I'm feeling NCT mark. If if I go to the hub many times, uh, I don't find anything that is uh, uh, apparently connected with uh, what I'm feeling. But there is a reason if I get that particular lesson or skill. See, another thing I just thought of is that Fanny and Greg uh, usually meet, you know, during the day at some point, maybe some, sometimes in the evening. And so I think that when you have a session like this, you might bring things out of the session that you would want to talk about and or test about when you meet together later without Ross. Fanny, does that seem reasonable to you? Um, uh, yes and no, but <clears throat> it doesn't seem very clear about how to how that's going to work. To me. Well, the way it would work, for example, you could um, when you meet Greg later, you could say when you were running your symptom in the session. It doesn't. I didn't. Okay. I don't feel complete about that. When we meet that. later, we don't talk about stuff like that. He just, I mean, basically, Greg is in the car going somewhere or, you know, whatever. And I have to say, Greg, you seem reluctant to talk about those things. Easier for you to talk about things that are... I really have to have my attention on I can't be doing other things. That's right. That's why I was saying it'd be good to talk early in the morning or something to get my day going right, like we did when we when I was there. Or spot, spend some time, I'm by myself so much without talking to anyone or dealing with anything. You know, that that's like, I don't, I just have to, I've been living alone. I think you should absolutely call Franny every morning. The question is, how long would you spend on the phone with her? And also, what would you both be doing meanwhile? What's your mental image of that, Craig? Well, um... Could 
you know, very early when lying in bed even like we have in the past when I was there, just sharing whatever uh, and accepting everything, you know, the, as, as means to move forward and to learn more and to progress and set yourself up for the day so that, you know, you work out things that might have come up. It's just a very creative time, I think, for both of us, obviously, for me. And um, What about you, Freddie? What do you think it looks like to, for Greg to call you early in the morning? Well, I don't know what it's going to look like, but what I liked was, see, I made an effort when we were talking a lot on the phone, and you weren't necessarily driving anywhere during those periods of time. You were, we were having, you know, I was talking about things that meant something to me, you know, like it, about how we were together or whatever, and I got a lot out of that, much more that, I mean, even though I like hearing about all the things you do with the plane, I, I mean, I like that too, you know, I'm happy when you call me, some days you call me two or three times, that's fine, I like that. You should talk to each other throughout the day. Yeah. That's very good for both of you. I, I like that, right? and, but I also, you know, I also liked when I brought up things and we talked about them, you know, in, in depth, you know, I got much more satisfaction out of that than, you know, just twittering away about something, you know. Well, just so you know, for example, in my life, like, I called um, Anna this morning when I was on the Kalima, and I had a very in-depth conversation with her over 20 minutes while she was driving. And I found, I asked penetrating and probing questions, and Anna was very good at answering them. And also very forthcoming at volunteering. She had called me to ask me, but she wants to cure caretaking people. She says she takes care of people in a pathological way. Well, I'm not sure you can equate, see like, Anna's on a long drive from Albuquerque to Santa Fe, mm -hmm. and she has plenty of time on the highway, like when I'm driving to my father's, I have plenty of time. But if Greg is battling traffic traffic for half an hour to try and get to a play downtown, and he has to park. That's and not a good time to have it in depth. His attention's on you know the guy pulling in front of him, or how many cars are in this lane, or so, whatever. You know, it's there's not a couple of things I think about early morning conversations. One is that they should be under half an hour, and two is that you should be doing things for your body while you're having them. Like I massage my... Like I called Alejandra at 6.30 in the morning, which is a good time for her. It's the evening and her time, you know. And she's around. I've talked to her. And the thing is, I'll be there talking to her and I just do my eye massage and my other things. Stand on my head, you know, hang over the bed, stuff like that. So, it's stuff that I don't have to think about or concentrate on, and I can give her my full attention. I don't try to work on the computer while I'm talking to somebody. Yeah, right. So, but another thing is, how much do you care what the other person is doing for themselves? Because if you're just laying there talking, and not doing anything for yourself physically, then you're actually maybe getting half of the results you would get. Well, if Greg finds this, see, I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't agree because it's sometimes just nice just to be quiet and not be doing anything else and to be just focused on each other, which is what we did sometimes when we were in bed and then we can get up and we can really focus on our exercise and feel free to do whatever you know we need to do and so I, I don't you know much as I think you're making a good suggestion I don't know if that fits for me uh, you know I mean I get up and brush my teeth maybe or, or go to the bathroom but I'm not sure if well, we're now five minutes over where we said we'd end. And 
but I think you have the idea and you can work it out. You know, it doesn't all have to be resolved right here. You can just try it tomorrow morning. You know, somebody call one of you calls the other and you just do whatever you do, you know. None of this has to be perfect, but I definitely think that if you had, let's say, half a dozen short conversations, because you know, what happens is you talk for a while, it doesn't really matter how long, you can talk for three hours and no sooner do you get off the phone, like when you come out of this session, Franny, half an hour from now you're going to be thinking of all these things you want to say to Greg. So call him at some point later on and tell him this stuff, you know. You know what I mean? Just, just continue your dialogue. Don't try to get it all said in one conversation. And remember when you took me swimming and you said you never swam more than half an hour because then you wouldn't want to come back? Well, that was true at the time, but if you go... It's a very good thing to think about. But if you about. go swimming regularly, that's a very, then an hour would be okay. That's a very good approach. But I, I'm because telling you, I'm telling you that uh, if I went swimming very regularly, like I do now, more like an hour is really the thing to do, and then I still mm -hmm. want to come back and do it. So it depends. Well, that's good. It all depends on where you are with all this stuff. So when you have a, an, an hour conversation, you may not be as likely to have another conversation within the next few hours. And really what I think you should be doing is having a series of conversations throughout the day. Well, I'm, Rather than trying to get everything to, done in one. It's possible for me to do that. I don't is, know about Greg. Can you do that, Greg, you think? I think so. That's, I think that's a good idea. That's the way to do it. So, so try not to elongate your conversations, but try to uh, go do some things and then talk again. And try to talk at least three times a day. How about that? Just, just make a make make a three time minimum morning, afternoon, or early evening, late evening, whatever you know. But try to fit in three and see if you can then squeeze it up to more. Because you need to be present in each other's lives all the time, like all day, all the time. Because Greg, as you you know, you're saying it, and I'm really just echoing what you're saying. You're withering on the vine when you don't have contact with Franny. Yep. And you're talking about how like it's, you're alone, you're so alone. Well, don't be. You know, just, you know, call. I mean, it, that's actually earlier though. When you wake <laughs> up, it's like 7.30. Well, it's 8.30 here. Call Franny, you know. Spend 20, 15 minutes. I'm usually just, awake even if I don't get Yeah. I'm awake at 8.30. Byron sure. knows that. Just, sh just go call and share your, what you were dreaming about or something. Or, what you woke up thinking. I don't mean encouragement. I know exactly that's what I was All right. thinking. And what, did you test any that, other uh, questions uh, from that lesson? I don't know. Go back to that. Well, there are a lot of questions there. Yeah, I know. Did you, were you uh, testing through them and did you get a signal on another one? My relationship with the right people, yes. Are there some people I need to form relationships with? Yes. Do I know them yet? No. Are my career work and life choices in line with the mission God has given me in this world to accomplish? Yes. And so, uh, please be patient, don't rush, put safety first. Keep yourself at a good baseline. Don't make try to make drastic changes. So, uh, can I learn what I need to know about God from my relationship with my spouse or partner? Yes. All right, that's enough. So, uh, we did it. That was, how do, do, you, do you feel good anybody well here here's a here's one in the lesson i picked oh sexy sensual it says sexy is what makes people say i want that it's the sparkle of your body and it's a function of your higher bodies you know you have been you have it when people ask what are you doing for yourself i gotta do that it's sexy oh. your sexiness helps other people protect their bodies because when they look at you and see something you're doing for yourself that's attractive inspires them to do something for themselves. That's great. That's really great. Sensuousness is happening when people can feel your presence. It too is largely caused by bodies other than the physical. Sensual experiences are caused by higher body contact. 
when you're eating food, you assimilate it better when you enjoy it and interact with it on a higher level, don't you? Bayard says that when he takes tinctures, he likes to savor and experience the different, different tastes rather than just getting them down the hatch. <laughs> Sexy and sensual are both vibration to vibration communication. My vibrations are communicating with you. And so then there are these things that you um, have to test about what at any given moment. Is this uh, a lesson somewhere? Yeah, it's a lesson lesson five. Oh, kitty! Kitty! Oh. Looks like my pinky. No. Uh, it's, it's lesson use and protection of your bodies. I think that's five. Good Still one. Fun. What? Good one. Yeah. Now, how would you work that throughout says, the day? It says, find instances where you were sexy and where you weren't. And then, find instances when Good. you were sensual and when you weren't. Test what phenomena were happening, not happening in your higher bodies during all the above. Spot sec sexiness and sensuality in other people. Spot some people who are, some who aren't. Access what it about them that inspires you to want to do more for yourself. And then what did you come to know from doing this? Did you rick anything else without realizing it during this lesson? Those are the things that you do when you want to work this lesson. Those are a lot of things, actually. But. So, uh, Bono. Yes. Um, this is about, like, those are alarm bells. Like, when you see yourself being sexy, you, like, take note of it. It's a, this is about getting to know yourself, what you really like. Right. So that's how you work that lesson. Like if you see yourself doing something non-sexy, you you just go, oh wait a minute, that's not sexy, and you. Well, I mean, it's I can I can give you an example. I mean, I can think of sexual examples too, but I can think of how when I greeted Greg at the airport and our interaction. I could either be sexy in that interaction, or I could just like right. push him away. And, and at first, you know, when he said, "Oh, you, oh, you look really beautiful," and you've been spiffing up, I sort of didn't respond. And then I went to the driver's seat, and I went, and I said, "Oh God," you know, like one of those things that they do in the sure. movie. Like, did I say that? <laughs> you know, did, I, did I not say that? Or I said, I guess what I said was, you know, yes, I've been spiffing up. But then I went back and told him that I was spiffing up for him because I, it, it's just, it's just things that, you know, obviously I was feeling really good about myself and you noticed it and, but I wanted you to know also that I noticed that you were there and that you were important in that. So that's an example. It's beautiful. It's really, really beautiful. But it's, that was a choice, you know, I just like really said, whoa, why didn't I give it to him? <laughs> yeah. I was just, well, you know, the same thing that happened before was that what came up was the dysfunction of, oh, well, you know, it sounds like he's saying I never did that before, or I'm doing it just for him, you know, or something like that. Like, those are the thoughts that instantly went through my head, but then after I thought about it, I said, well, that's stupid, you know, and I ought to just give it, I ought to just give it to you and say, you know, thank you. <laughs> it's, mm -hmm. uh, so. Anyway, I just don't, I don't like it when you get angry and grumpy and surly and all that stuff. I just do not like that. Who wouldn't like it? Well, you know, and it, whoever wouldn't like it. Um, it got particularly bad when you, when this, in this year, it got particularly bad at the beginning of the year, and it's like, I didn't even want to call you anymore, and then, you know, obviously, the, you know, I don't know if it was because you were going out with somebody else, or just because you were surly, or whatever, but then you didn't call me at all either, and I, I didn't know when to call you, and every time I did, you just seemed kind of like distracted or surly, so... There's just so many. I, I just I don't want you to do that. I don't want you to do that behavior anymore. I don't want you to go someplace else to try and 
feel better or whatever it is. I want you to be talking to me. This is good because you're on switching every time you say I want. You know, you, you also, like, you can't yell at each other. You can't, you just, you can't have a relationship with somebody and yell and swear and cuss and reject and all that stuff. You just can't, you can't do that behavior. Right. So if you feel it, use it as an alarm bell. If you feel like doing that, take, use it to say, okay, there's something wrong with me. Do the counter-symptomatic behavior and choose to be loving and then look around what is going on with me and find what's wrong and remove it. Yeah. Okay. I mean, I've been really making an effort not to respond to you with anger because that's, I do, I do want to yell at you sometimes. I just so get important. so exasperated. But then I try and notch it down and, you know, just like remain calm. <laughs> I don't know. You know. Well, do you feel like we can complete? Yeah. Well, you don't feel like I've made you wrong, do you, Greg? No. Okay, good. Because I don't really intend that. No, I don't. All right. I don't really hold on to anything. I may, I may go into my moods, but I'm really a very positive person. I don't. Well, that is true. That's good to Greg. know. That is absolutely true about you. Don't continue on for long in something. You, know? you have greatness. That's true. And Ross, you have greatness. Thank you. You saved our lives, Ross, all of us. Yeah, I mean, even with the corrections that you have to make to what you're doing, you do have the right inclinations. Absolutely, the right inclinations, and boy, of how this result that you got with Franny of her losing weight, you really have broken a pattern that's like, you know, 30 years old. It's amazing. Well, yeah, but I mean, the last 10, at least the last 10, when it's really bad this time, that... None of us could have done this for ourselves. And we did it... Kind you, of you without dieting. This is like not a diet. That's right. This is not a diet. This is just clearing and then naturally behavior changes or something. I don't well, know. according to the way you eat, but it's not focused on just eating because all the other things keep in place or could keep in place. So can we yeah. complete now? Do you feel like ready? Yes. Are we ready to complete? Yes. Yes. Let's link our... Show higher bodies. Oh yeah, with great pleasure. Just good. And I'll see you two tomorrow, yes? Yeah, my, I'm going to be at 11, whatever that translates, and Greg will be at 12. Okay. You will be at 11 your time, and then I will be at 11 my time. Okay. Right, but I don't... We'll be at... <laughs> That's pretty good. Yeah. We're both we're both at eleven. That's pretty good. Pretty Ciao, good. Ross. <laughs> Ciao, Bambina. Okay. Bye, Ciao, bye. Bambina. This is the Cure Drive Cult homepage. You can see we tally our cures. That's the tally there, 132,000. You report your cures here, right here. That's the link to report your cure. Okay, this is the, uh, the movie that people start with generally. And there's a lot of people actually curing things on camera in this movie and demonstrating exactly how to do it. It's four and a half hours. So you would be able to probably understand and know what these people are doing by watching this.
we are a cult because we're all over the world. Maybe one person in a town. <laughs> Just one little guy who cures things in a whole town full of people who don't. Whose spouse thinks she's crazy because she's curing things and he doesn't. She doesn't get sick and he's down with the flu for five days and he still thinks she's crazy. We've had spouses die. So this person is demonstrating curing herpes in this movie, the one you're watching right there. And it goes on like that. Now, these are the people here. You see this black area here? This is our Twitter feed. These are the people you want to talk to. And what you do, see it says follow Cure Drive. And that's what you do. You click on that, and then you pick somebody. Anybody in here will be happy to help you. So you write to people that you see in here. And there's all these people all talking about what they're curing. So that's what you do. You pick somebody that you know that seems like a kindred spirit, presumably, and you write to them. See that picture of the cat there? That's Rosella. She's one of the people whose spouse died. He was a very great guy. He just thought it was nuts. He never did it died of cancer not too long ago about two months ago so anyway you just you know you you write to somebody and uh, you know tell them what you you know are trying to do people are always asking about negative medical tests here let me show you this is a voicemail message you should probably if you're interested in getting a negative medical test on, let's say, herpes. She got negative medical tests and both kinds of herpes. And she left me this message when she got her letter from the, you know, hospital, I guess. She was in New Zealand. So her tests are free. Now, um, of course, there's an enormous website behind this homepage. I guess you're probably guessing, right? And if you see these movies, these are all people demonstrating curing various diseases. This is their, they've, these people chose to contribute their cures to your effort to cure yourself. There are oh, around, I guess over 800 movies. And some of them are linked to this page. So if you click on any one of these pictures, it will go to a movie, and that movie will start playing. So join the cult. <laughs> Your friends will be worried about you. <laughs> You're in a cult. They'll be worried. You... You have the crazy idea that you can cure medically incurable diseases. They're, they're going to be very concerned. <laughs> Especially if you're battling cancer. Your friends will be worried, and that's a good thing. You will cure things. And that is also a very good thing. You will begin curing things the moment you join, because that's how you join, you cure something. <laughs> when you cure something, you're in the cult. <laughs> if you want to get out of the cult, just stop curing things, and you won't be in the cult anymore. <laughs> easy to exit, your easy exit strategy. <laughs> and who knows? You may even cure the medically incurable disease that you came in here to cure. A lot of us did. That's me there in the movie holding forth on how to cure things. I'm on the cure team.
That's what I did. I, I cured a medically incurable disease. That uh, two of them actually. That's, so I cured two kinds of herpes. It was about four months after I started doing this that I discovered. I actually discovered. I'm the person who discovered that you could cure physical diseases. July 1993. My 20th anniversary just passed. I haven't had an outbreak of herpes for 20 years and before that I was having outbreaks for 28 years. I got herpes in 1965 at the end of the year. 28 years of outbreaks followed by 20 years of no outbreaks. That's how bad it can be and how good it can be if you let it be good. So, take the courageous step that almost everyone you know will advise you not to take. <laughs> Join the cult. <laughs> when you're in the cult, your friends will get sick and you will get well. Your friends will give sympathy and you will give cure. And you'll know that you don't even need to take a vitamin pill to cure something. You can just cure it with nothing. <laughs> just with you. What can you contribute? What will your contribution be? This woman is curing a flu right on camera. She came in with full symptoms and they were all gone in 15 minutes. You can see it happen. Flu is an incurable viral based disease. It's medically incurable. She cures it right in front of you. We eagerly await your contribution. And here they are, eagerly awaiting your contribution. <laughs> and anything that you say to any of these people will probably be a contribution of some kind. <laughs>